All right, so next we got uh, terraforming and secret village of the spellcasters. They reprinted secret village in the uh, the new legendary deck, Yugi Legendary Deck Two, which is amazing. This was this was a twenty dollar card. It's still up to last time I checked fifteen dollars for one of these, and uh, for twenty five bucks you get one of these in a deck. Uh, super good card. Um, <coughs> Uh, while well, you control the spellcaster, your opponent can't uh, cast spell use spells, and uh, while well, you don't control the spellcaster, they can and you can. But uh, uh, in a ratio index where I always have a field spell, I always use the ratio of two fields to one terraforming. And because uh, I'm a, cause once again, terraforming is a, a deck thinner, and it's like your deck is neg that many cards when you use a thinner. And then we have three eternal soul. Um, Good card. Um, it's not game breaking, but it is pretty good. Um, special summon uh, Dark Magician from Hand or Graveyard. Uh, first effect, second effect, add which I never use Dark Magic Attack or Thousand Knives. Um, it's good because you can use it on your turn or your opponent's turn. But there's a there is a drawback if you if they pop this card, um, you start all your monsters. Uh, only two Magician's Navigation. Um, Magician Navigation, because uh, I felt like three was too cloggy. Um, after I got Eternal Soul, I felt like I didn't even really need Magician Navigation. But you're not running any MSTs or Twin Twisters in this deck. So this is a very good card to have, because um, uh, uh, the, uh, the turn, other than the turn that this card was under the grave, um, you can uh, banish this card while you control a Dark Magician, negate the effect of a face-up spell or trap. So they Twin Twister, nope. They were Geki, nope. They Solemn Strike. Actually, no, you can't. You can't stop that because that's a counter a spell. That's a counter trap. But yeah, um, um, Magician's Navigation really isn't isn't that great. It's a twenty dollar card, but uh, the thing is, you need it requires a Dark Magician in your hand, and for the second effect, it requires a Dark Magician on your field. Um, which I mean, you could use Dark uh, Dark uh, Magician of uh, Dark Illusions too, but still, um, <coughs> yeah. Uh, I just felt like. Because I sometimes I do test hands and I'd have two in one hand, and like I wouldn't even need to like. I felt like um, when you have when you when there's a possibility of drawing multiple in your starting hand, like you should like dock that card to less if it's not gonna do you any good right away. And three, the quaking mirror force. Um, uh, I tested this deck a lot against chaos Black, blue eyes chaos max, so this is like a must and like. It's way better than Mirror Force, um, like, you know, the old Mirror Force, but, uh, yeah, very good card. But it, this, this card is, like, jumped up in price, like, 18 bucks. I was lucky, I drew, I, I pulled two during the sneak, then I dropped to six bucks. I really should have picked them up when they were six, but you know those card prices, you know. Uh, one Solemn Warning, and then two Solemn Strikes. Um, I'm a budget player, but, uh, the Solemn Strike is, like, I don't know, it's, it dropped because of the Mega Tins. So, it's you're sitting at 25 right now. I bought it when it was at 20. So, yeah, good deal there. Um, Solemn Morning, I playtested it, I playtested this deck against, um, Blaze Chaos Max, so I, I keep saying. But, um, I tried, uh, starting, starting hand, Solemn Morning first turn, and so I tried Solemn, turn, Solemn Morning turn second turn, and, both games I won that against Boys Chaos Max. So yeah, um, Solemn Strike. It's it's very good against Pendulums. Uh, I don't know what else. Just a just a good card. And like I try to stack my deck with like really good cards. All right, now I'm gonna try to do a few test hands.